Hello, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. I am Hosanna Devi. I have a message from the Lord. While I was on my bed this morning meditating, I had a vision, very, very brief vision. And in this vision, I was preaching to some people. Uh, I was admonishing them and I made these statements. I said, let us do what is right. God is not a man. He cannot be shook. He cannot be shook like shocking someone like this, strangulating someone. I know Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever sin a man sows, that shall he also reap. God is not mocked. But I didn't say God is not mocked. I said God is not a man. He cannot be shocked. Nobody can strangulate God. Nobody can uh, influence him negatively. God is God. He is in control of himself. Nobody can influence him against his will. If we don't do what is right, the judgment definitely is going to come upon us and we will be judged according to what we have done i'm in a church right now look at the church this is cathedral church of saint andrews this is a place thousands of people come to worship every day but the question is how many people that go to church how many christians actually do what is right some of us believe that once we are saved, we are always saved, and that the grace of God covers our sins. But the truth is that the grace of God that appears to all men teaches us to deny ungodliness, worthy loss, and all forms of unrighteousness. The grace of God does not encourage us in our sins, but the grace of God encourages us to depart from our sins, to deny ungodliness. This is where many people get it wrong. Let us do what is right. It is what we do that God is going to use to give his judgment on the last day. Every one of us, whether small or big, young or old, every one of us, male or female, we are going to stand before the judgment seat of God. And we will be judged according to what we have done while in the flesh, while in the body. Let us not be deceived. God is not mocked at all. We will reap whatsoever thing we have sown. I don't know if you have given your life to Jesus Christ or you are a Christian, but you are falling and living in lukewarmness. If the Spirit of God in you does not bear witness with your spirit that you are saved, please get it right with God and be saved even right now. You may be a Christian, just as uh, this church here is uh, is here now you may be a Christian you attend church or you do a Bible study at home fellowship with the brethren at home no problem the Bible says that it's not everyone that says to me Lord Lord that we enter into the kingdom of God but those who do the will of God if you do not do the will of God and you profess to love him you are not his own it is only those who do the will of God and actually love God. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. He can never be mocked. Let us do what is right all the time. This is a warning from the Lord. It is a word of encouragement from the Holy Spirit so that we can stand upright and please our Lord and King who is going to come soon to judge the world. Don't forget to share this video and if you have it in mind to be of support to this ministry don't hesitate to do that mostly support by sharing those videos and make people to know the truth thank you and god bless you my contact details are in the description box or you can visit my website eagleeyeopener.com or biblicalsexualpurity.com or if you want to do charity to train a child you can visit hdf ng.org Hosanna David Foundation 
we are giving free artificial legs to people and supporting the uh, less privileged, especially out of school children. Thank you for being useful to humanity. It is what we do on earth that the Lord is going to use to bless us. We are very transparent. Um, we do our best to make sure that we make the world a better place. That even as we preach Christ and tell people to repent, we have to also show our love by supporting those who are on the streets, those who are hopeless, and give them hope physically, even as we give them hope through the sharing of God's word. God bless you. Bye-bye.